Hi, this is Brad SharpensBest.com. Uh, got another knife from the Goodwill. Uh, it's kind of a cool old knife that's been around the block a few times. You can see the handle's kind of chewed up. The blade is chewed up. I'm going to hold still and let you just see if you can look right at the cutting edge. It's got some pretty good dents in it. It's, it's dull as can be. I was just commenting that the, the, the 90 degree corner on the back is actually sharper feeling than the cutting edge. Now, I, one of these days I'm going to bleed. But if you can, now I am making some white lines, okay? And I'm not pushing too hard, but you can see it definitely isn't going to slice paper, uh, you know, like my other knives do. So let's see. Let's go ahead and uh, do the paper test before and after. All right. So it pushes the paper right out of the way. I'm going to come in here like that. Okay. That just isn't working. Uh, and I knew it wouldn't. So today, what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to sharpen a knife with a rock. Uh, I might finish it off with a different rock. I'm going to sharpen it, but I'm not going to use my sharpeners. I'm not going to use anything else. I'm just going to take this really dull knife and I'm going to sharpen it with a rock like if I was at the river out hunting, hiking, camping, fishing. I didn't have my sharpener. I didn't have anything. You just look for a rock and you sharpen the knife. Now, I've not done this before. I'm pretty confident I can. Uh, I will be just as surprised as I say in some of the other videos. I'll be as surprised uh, if it works fast I'll be surprised if it doesn't seem to work at all like I want it to. So uh, I see that there's another rock right here that I actually used one time. Uh, this time I'm going to use uh, a bigger rock. Uh, it's got a kind of a flat surface there. It's got a couple flat surfaces. I like it because I can get a good handle, you know, good grip on it like that. I can turn it. And that's a good grip right there. I actually like it. So. <coughs> Uh, start watching the timer um, and I'm gonna hurry and uh, see how fast not exactly how fast but how sharp I can make this knife in a pretty short time so here we go I see the rock starting to change colors so I know I'm actually grinding some of the metal off I'm rolling it up to the tip I'm coming back down around the radius I'm headed down along the body now I'm gonna go back up around the radius, I tip it, head for the tip, like that. I'm gonna turn it over, and this side is uh, a little bit harder to do, just like that. Of course, you wanna take little short uh, strokes like that, stay in control of the knife. You don't wanna to get too carried away, slip off, you're probably gonna get cut. Then the least of your worries is gonna be about having a sharp or dull knife, just like that. I roll it out to the tip, around here on the radius, and then the body. I see the rock is getting darker. That means more metal is being worn off on the rock. Just like that. You can also take it and do this. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to finish up a little bit here pretty quick. Just to see if you can notice a good change in the knife. Go out here and work on the tip a little bit. Okay. <laughs> then we do this. I think it's working because I can feel the rock grabbing the blade more. That means the blade is actually getting sharp. If the blade was really dull, it wouldn't have that grabbing sensation when I touch the two together. Okay, let's see now if there's a change. It's catching. It is cutting. Okay, so that's better. Flimsy paper. Can't cheat. Okay. That's really not too bad. I'm gonna feel here, actually that bite's pretty good. But we're gonna work on it a little bit more out here on the radius. All right, this time I'm actually gonna grab this rock here. It's kind of flat, works pretty good. You'll notice it was actually in one of my other videos. I'm not even gonna to try to tell you that I haven't used that rock before. It's the same rock garden that we work in, you know. So I'm just gonna go along here like this. It's about the same thing as using a whetstone with the whetstone on the table and you're running the knife at the whetstone. Okay, only I'm gonna use the rock like a whetstone in a different way. I'm gonna actually move the rock at the knife instead of the knife at the rock. And boy, we got some good uh, dings in the blade. Let's see if that'll focus. Okay, and there's several in the blade. That's gonna hinder me from slicing paper like I normally do. But let's just see if we can kind of hurry along here, work this over, and see what we end up with here in a short time. I don't want to keep you here all day. So let's see 
if that little bit of work made a difference. You realize in all my videos, I believe this is the very first time I've ever sharpened something where I didn't use my sharpeners at all. That's weird. Okay, not too bad. Those uh, serious nicks in the blade are raising cane with the paper, but it's getting pretty sharp. It bites. Let's see if it does this. Everybody does that. And it does. Okay, so it's high. Ooh, that's a lot of fingernail. That's a lot of thumbnail. All right, uh, where's my rock? Let's go to the big one again for a minute. <coughs> like this. And I'm going to put a little more grind on it. i got to thin that blade down a little bit. See if I can't take some of the nicks out a little bit more. Just like that. Right on around. Right off the tip. Turn it over and do the same thing. Right on out. And I'm going to hone with the uh, big rock. Just like this. Rock on, dude! <laughs> That's an, maybe we'll name this video Rock On, dude. <laughs> All right. So why would I even do this? Well, there's two or three reasons. Number one, maybe I can help you figure out how to sharpen a knife out somewhere where you have nothing but the river rocks. Uh, you know, if you don't have a river, you don't have the rocks, kick around a little bit, you'll find some rocks under the dirt. Uh, base of trees, there's usually always some rocks, stuff like that. All right. Yeah, except that isn't too bad. Uh, except for the really bad nicks in the blade. Well, that would definitely skin an animal. Uh, it would definitely, you could kill an animal with that. You could cut it up, you could cut the meat. Um, it's sharp enough that anywhere on the blade, maybe, that's stuck. That isn't too bad. That actually isn't too bad either. We come back here. And that isn't too bad. So actually for sharp, that would be sharp enough and I'm not going to do this anymore. This is Brad, sharpensbest.com. Take care and have a good day.